Good morning. What's going on? Your boy Icy Jones. We getting it popping this morning. 11 a.m. You know who you with. Hot seat with Icy Jones on Hot7025FM.com. Now, this morning, have a very special guest in the building. And I'm um, excited to have her here today. We have the coach. We have the mommy. We have the mogul. <laughs> coach, mommy, mogul, Ebony Nicole. Speaking to the mic for me. What's going yes. on? Good. I'm good. You good? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Oh, definitely. Excited to be here. Absolutely. I'm excited to have you here this morning. So what's been going on in 2019 with you? Um, 2019, I've basically launched my um, coaching full-time, launched my um, membership program for mompreneurs um, in the works of launching a purse line. So I have, I have quite a bit going on. Wow, is that right? You yes. got the purse line popping? Yes. Okay, and that's coming soon? or? Yes, it's in the works right now. I'm working um, with a designer to have a line for Mommy Mogul. Okay, yes. absolutely. So when did you decide to be an entrepreneur? And tell us about a little bit about your business. So I decided to be an entrepreneur. Well, it's not like I just decided, like, okay, I'm going to go into business for myself. Actually, I knew that I didn't want to work for anyone like for the rest of my life that mm -hmm. I did want to have my own business, but I was basically forced into entrepreneurship is what I tell people because I was fired from my job. Okay. So I was fired from a job that I had been on for 11 years mm. and um, basically, yeah, I was fired from a job that I had been on for 11 years and I had three kids to take care of. At the time I was a single mom of three and I just, made up in my mind that I wasn't going to give anybody else control of over my life my finances and so I basically at that point decided that I needed to start my own business okay so I actually in a panic got another job was at that job for a year got fired from that job and then that's when I was like okay maybe God's trying to tell me something so wow. I decided to um, start my own business at the time it was a resume company and from there, I've been a full-time entrepreneur going on almost four years now. Right. In July, to be four years full-time entrepreneurship. So Dope. Yeah. Okay. So what are you doing now? So with the coach, Mommy Mogul, what yes. is that about? And I know you got a book, Don't Be a Baby Mama. Don't Be a Baby Mama, yes. Talk about it. Okay, so <laughs> when did you write that? So Don't Be a Baby Mama, that's actually, whew, I wrote that book and published it in 2014. Okay. Yeah. Um, it actually is still selling. I still get speaking engagement from it because of the topic of the book. Mm -hmm. It's about co-parenting, positive co-parenting mm -hmm. for mothers, um, specifically for women, mm -hmm. to not get caught up in the stereotype of being that crazy baby mama that's about drama that's not trying to you know be up in the man's business instead mm -hmm. of actually just taking care of the child right so yeah so i um i made that book i have a great co-parenting relationship with my oldest son's father and mm -hmm. then i have two other kids who their father i don't have a great co-parenting relationship with so i basically come from a standpoint of i know that it's hard i'm i've been quote unquote a baby mama myself mm -hmm. and so i'm just teaching other women how to just move past that mm -hmm. do everything for your child and just boss up and just worry about yourself got it yeah got it <laughs> okay and the coach part of the coach mommy mogul yes so the coach mommy mogul is right now i'm focusing on business branding for mompreneurs specifically okay. that's okay. my audience yeah. so i help you anywhere from if you already have a business and you need a facelift in your business you need to figure out how to make extra money for your business you need marketing branding i help with all of that or if you have an idea but you don't really know how to get started mm -hmm. in your business and i can help you with that as well right and so i have um i do one-on-one -on -one coaching and then i also have a monthly membership which is through my mommy mogul university okay and with the mommy mogul university it's a community of other coaches we all come together and help in our specific area of expertise so i have a monetization coach i have a business startup coach branding coach but we help you with everything from getting your business license, logo, website. We have a community of other women. So you have support system, accountability to just really get it popping, to just really live out your dreams like for real in real life. Not just doing it for the gram, not just doing it on social media, right. but really start your own business, be successful. And if you want to 
retire from your business and actually from your job and actually have like a full time entrepreneurship. Yeah. Going. And you got it popping over there. Yes. Okay. So let's talk about it. Now, you put out on Facebook like your husband is amazing, right? Yes. Like, but I remember there was a time where you were like a single woman mm-hmm. for a moment. Um, I remember there was a time you were married to someone else. Yes. And then you said you have an older child. Mm-hmm. So talk about that kind of transition between these men and how you re- really like found the one, like how or he found you, so to speak. Yes, he found me. All right now. Okay. Hey, let's <laughs> talk about it. We're in the hot seat with yes. Icy Jones. So, yeah, so I was in a relationship. I was in a marriage. It was... Um, just not not you know not good mm-hmm. and i ended up getting you know a divorce and i was and ended up being you know a single mom of three yeah and so i really went to, through a point in my life where i just really needed to figure out what i was going to do for myself and who i was yeah. because when i was in that marriage i i totally lost myself okay i tell people i feel like i went through like a moment of insanity <laughs> Mm-hmm. Because when I look back, I'm like, what was I even doing? Like, yeah. that relationship is totally against who I am, my core values, all of that. Yeah. So I had to basically, and I ended up losing everything. Okay. I lost a home, car, um, career, literally to a point where I had like a nervous breakdown. Okay. Um, when I was pregnant with my, my daughter. Yeah. And so I just really had to just find myself again. And I just made it up in my mind, like, I'm not going to focus on trying to be in a relationship. Like, I'm just going to focus on myself, building myself, bossing up. I know that I'm still the ish, no matter if I have three, four, five kids. Mm -hmm. I don't care what anybody says. I built myself up to where I know that any man that gets with me, I'm bringing value to you. Mm. It doesn't matter if I'm a single woman. It doesn't matter if I have 10 kids. People, you know, try to tell you like, oh, you have kids, like nobody's going to want to like deal with you with all these kids. But I, I had it going on to the point of it was single women out there who I was still bossing up over with my three kids Mm -hmm. (laughs) working, you know, Mm -hmm. trying to take care of them. Mm -hmm. And so I just carry myself in a way of, I know who I am. I know that I have value and I wasn't searching for a man and I always hear people say that, but I legit was cool on being by myself, taking care of what I need to take care of, figuring at the time I was writing my book at the time, trying to get that published. So when I met my husband, and it's funny because he says to this day, when what attracted me to him was the fact that I had so much going on. Mm-hmm. I wasn't just sitting around waiting for something happen, ha- to happen, I was out there making it happen. Mm-hmm. And my husband, when he married me, he didn't have any kids. He was a single man, no kids. So mm. You he found a unicorn came, girl. So he came into <laughs> this, right? He came into this with uh, marrying a woman that has three kids. Yep. You know what I mean? So he saw some value in me. There's plenty yeah. of single women out there who mm. don't have kids. Mm. But he saw some value in me, and it's because I was about my business. Yeah. I was I was straight about my business, not worried about what anybody else was doing, just focused yeah. on what I needed to do. Right. Now, does he help in any way, or is he just out the way doing his own thing? Yeah, I mean, he As helps. far as your, 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 your businesses is what I mean. He helps the biggest help of all just being supportive yeah when i did end up losing um, my second job and before i went into entrepreneurship he's one of the main reasons why because at the time i mean i had a house i had like you know house payment car payment everything and i ended up losing my job and he was like you know what he believed in me enough to tell me like i see what you're doing and i want you to actually just go forth and just do it. And I'm going to help you however I need to help you. And so he was one of the main reasons why I was able to even do the entrepreneurship. Got it. Yeah. That's real support. He's like, he's my number one fan in my phone. He saved under my number one fan. Hey, he get, you know, we butt heads, he gets on my nerves. But the one thing I can say is he supports me Mm -hmm. in my career and he makes it easy for me to get up and do what I do. Right. I mean, in what relationship doesn't have some issues? 
Um, but you're in it for the long haul. Yes. Absolutely. Definitely. And so at that point, was it hard to get into a relationship with him because you were so focused on yourself? Um, it was like, I didn't even, I didn't even realize he was trying to get into a relationship with me. Okay. <laughs> I was so focused on what I was doing and he would just always talk to me and we actually worked at the same place. Okay. So that was one thing that was hard for me because I never dated anyone I worked with. I was like against like my you know dating policy whatever <laughs> like don't date anybody you work with but we worked at the same place and he would just always talk to me mm -hmm. he would just always talk to me just um he was always excited to know what i had going on okay and so i was really focused on what i was doing and i really didn't pay him any attention i was like who is this dude like why does he keep talking to me like i'm not understanding so i was focused it it did make it difficult but I I just always knew like whoever that I did get with that they would be my friend first. Okay. And so as he and I began to talk more, we really just built a friendship before anything. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like, okay, this is going to be the man I'm going to marry. This is going to be my kid's new stepdaddy. I yeah. didn't have that mindset. It was just me. I was focused on what I needed to do, and then I had this guy over here who was just interested in everything I was doing, somebody I could talk to, and we just built a friendship Yeah. before anything. That's good. Yeah. That's really, really good. And so then you were able to give him a child. Yes. <laughs> give him a child, yes, if that's how you want to put it. <laughs> well, I mean, yes. I say that because you said he was a single him man. with a baby. With no kids, right? Yes, no kids. And you had three kids, mm -hmm. so now it's his turn to have a child, and you were able to give him a child. Yeah, so right. I had another child. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> now I have a two-year-old. I'm almost 40, and okay. he drives me insane. <laughs> Every day, I'm like, what was I thinking? Mm -hmm. Yes. But it, I, is it exciting for him to have this baby? In his, yes, in his I yeah. mean, he's not – he actually had never really been around kids, honestly. Wow. He never been around kids. He had never held a baby before, wow. our baby. Yeah. He's just, he was not that, that kid type. Yeah. It's just so crazy how we, he ended up marrying a woman that had three kids. Yeah. But he built a good relationship and friendship with my kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so now he is, our son drives him crazy too because right. he doesn't have any experience with kids. Right. So he's looking at me like, oh my God, I, yeah. what am I going to do? And he does something. And I'm like, seriously? Yeah. And he's like, I don't know. That's so, <laughs> so because yeah. my kids were older, you yep. know, so he kind of mm -hmm. like gravitates more towards my kids because yeah. they're older, and he's like, "Here's the baby, yeah, like take the baby, yeah." I don't know what to do with the baby, mm -hmm. so yeah, I can feel it though. I, I really do. So, I, you know, I got four kids, so yes. you know, I got a new baby too. He's he's about to be two, and yeah, they're yeah. A handful. They are on a whole other level. Toddlers do not care about you, okay? <laughs> they do not care. They have no chill. Right. Yes. No. <laughs> All right. So um, when we look at your future, right, mm -hmm. we're, we're, you got the mogul part of the of the coach, Mommy Mogul. Yes. You know, I'm going through your, your hashtag, right? Yes. What's the mogul part? What does it look like in three to five years for Ebony Nicole? I mean, three to five years, I look – actually, my goal is to help other moms make money, help mm -hmm. other moms – to provide employment for other moms, to help moms create businesses. Um, that's my main goal for Coach Mommy Mogul. Like, I really want to, right now, I've actually been able to hire like three employees mm. um, to work for me. And I just want to just bless other moms. I know how hard it was when I was out there trying to create this life for me and my kids and trying to start my own business and people trying to like rip me off and just not having the resources to know how to get it done. And so my goal is to really just provide a, an avenue for other women to make, to be able to make money. Well, you think they were ripping you off because you were a woman or? I think because they thought that I didn't know oh, okay. like any better, you know? Yeah. And the thing is, I know that it costs money to do websites and all of that. I mean, yeah. it costs money. I taught myself how to do it. I didn't mm -hmm. have the money to pay somebody so it literally took me three months yeah. to figure out how to do coding and everything for you know websites but i know my idea avatar client is a mom i know the struggle of finances and so i offer on the other side of my remote university i offer all these other services website design and all of that for a lower cost because i know who my audience is yeah. and so 
ultimately, I see myself still thrive, thriving in Mommy Mogul University. I see myself as the next like Mary Kay with okay. that. Because okay. it's a membership program that women are going to be able to join. They're going to, if you bring on other women, you'll be able to make money off being an affiliate of Mommy Mogul University. Mm -hmm. So I see it definitely being on the level of a Mary Kay, except yeah. a business branding. So you're new. You, okay, do you have products now? Yes, I have. I have products now that I'm working on. Besides the Mommy Mogul University, like I said, I have the purses that that's coming out. My book. Um, okay, yeah, so we can't we can't so buy your book not, right now. Yes, you can right? buy my book right now. Is there now. any other products we can purchase right now? Not products. I, I sell services. Right. Yeah. So when it comes to the purses, it's going to be a product, right? Yes. And then you're going to have the book. The book is always going to sell, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so that's what we have. And then the services are just a whole nother situation. Yeah. Because I'm looking at it like... Um, so when I say Mary Kay, yeah. what that is is that I'm doing it on service-based. Got it. Yes. 100. So Mommy Mogul University, you'll be if you join Mommy Mogul University, you have the opportunity to become an executive at Mommy Mogul University. For every member that you bring on, you'll get a sign up bonus for mm. that member and then for every, for as long as they stay in Mommy Mogul University, mm -hmm. you would get um residual. a residual from that. And is this happening now? Yes, I have 36 members in Mommy Mobile University. You better go, on, My girl. My goal is to have 100 by December. 100 people mm -hmm. by December. Absolutely. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Mommy Mogul. Yeah, Coach and it's Mommy a monthly Mogul. fee. I wake up in the morning with money in my bank account. So you're making money while you sleep? I'm making money while I sleep already. That's dope. Yes. That's dope. Absolutely. Um, So we're going to get like a shirt or like bracelets <laughs> or hats to say Mommy Mogul. You know what I'm saying? Yes. What, we, what are we talking about here? Yes. I'm working on all of that. Branding I'm actually that launching like a full line. It's um called Rich Wife. Okay. Um, That's coming up soon and it's going to be a full line of t-shirts. My Mommy Mogul purses will be included in that line. Mm -hmm. Um, Coffee mugs. Everything. Like books. Um journals everything mommy mogul right so my when you started four years ago mm -hmm. was this a part of the plan or did it no, not it grow not it grew all. now over when time. i started four years ago i started with a resume company correct i basically took i'm like okay i got fired from this job again another job what am i going to do to make money i don't want to put my livelihood in the hands of another person yeah. and so i knew how to do resumes i knew how to um, do paperwork like divorces, um, yeah. evictions from working with attorneys. And yeah. so I'm like, okay, I'm just going to take what I know and make money from that. And these things happen in your life. Yes, these things happen in my life. Right. Yes. And so, so I just took what I already knew how to, how to do. And I just literally just started my own company, the resume company. Mm -hmm. And I didn't think, I knew that I wouldn't be doing resumes forever. I yeah. knew that I wanted to help women. It's always been my passion to encourage, inspire, motivate women. That's always been my passion. And so I did the resume company. That took off on its own. I got some contracting from some um, job placements um, that wanted to me to do resumes for, you know, their their um, customers. That's and so, crazy. Yeah, it just That's took off. That's a real off. job. Like, yeah. Resume. Manpower, like I have contracts with That's, different <laughs> companies. I would never think that that was a stream of income. That's dope. Yeah, I just yeah I took it, started the company, resume for hire, and it just took off. And then it got to the point where I was like, okay, I really don't want to do this. And so I was able to hire some, you know, bring on a staff to take that over. And then I started branding myself as Coach Mommy Mogul. Um, I started helping my mentor brand herself, and then she was bringing clients to me, and then it just clicked. Like, why don't I just do business branding, for, but I want to do it on another level for moms, mm -hmm. specifically, because I'm a mom, I know the struggle, I know what they need. And so I started doing that, and actually, I just launched Mommy Mobile University in August, and okay. I already have 36 members. Right. And I didn't even, I did a soft lunch. I didn't even fully launch it. I just did a soft lunch in August. I had about 10 people sign up, went through the whole process, and it just kind of blew up from there. Like, mm -hmm. people just saw it, contacted me, referrals, social media. Mm -hmm. It just blew up from there. And so now it's like a fully running, running company. company. <clears throat> That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. That's why I pulled you in here. <laughs> You know, because I, I know the brand, right? Yes. And I know, of course, I know you, mm -hmm. but um, the brand is just always Coach Mommy Mogul, yes. Don't Be a Baby Mama, 
You know what I mean? Yes. And I'm like, yo, I got to get her in here. What's happening? Yes. So thank you for coming <laughs> to the hot seat with Icy Jones. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Now, um, were you born in a two-parent household? Um, no, well, I well, I was born in a two-parent household, yes. Okay. My parents divorced at a very young age. Okay. But I say that it was still like I was in a two-parent household, and I think that's why I learned how to co-parent in a positive way because my parents are like best friends. They're like brothers and sisters. <laughs> they grew up in Arkansas together. Even when they got a divorce, they were both there in my life to the point when I was a teenager, I'm like, I can't stand them. Like, I can't stand <laughs> how they work together. They always know where I'm at. I can't get over on them. They work so good together to where it was like I wasn't missing out on anything. Even That's the though, co-parents of co-parents. Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you. And they're like, we cool. Is this? We don't need to be yeah, back together. I mean, my mom is remarried. My dad got remarried. But yeah. they were still tight. And the the new spouses, you know, were, were okay, okay with, with it. it. Wow. And so that's what I've built with my son's old, yeah. oldest dad. Like, yeah. he's remarried. I'm remarried. We work together as a family. Right. We show up to my son's events as a family. Yeah. His his mom, his bonus mom, she she doesn't play. He just came home last week and was like, I'm upset. She did X, Y, and Z to me, like, trying to get me to be like, what yep. happened? What happened? I'm like, first off, yeah. I'm not going to tell another woman how to run her house. Yeah. As long as you're not being hurt, right. I know that she's taking care of you. Mm -hmm. You're going to do what she says. Yep. I am not that mom to be like, what she do to you? Let me call her right now. Let me mm -hmm. check her. No, because I know I've built a relationship with her mm -hmm. that she knows I don't play. Mm -hmm. I know that she loves my son mm -hmm. and she has my support. Right. And so I know that I got that from my parents. parents. I think a lot of that drama comes from somebody still having feelings for somebody yeah and you got to get past feelings because feelings that get you jacked up yeah yes i think a lot of drama from baby mama baby daddy mm -hmm. or you know divorcees yeah. come from feelings yes. still there yeah. and it seems as if your parents understood you know where they where they stood at then mm -hmm. um and and just was like we're gonna raise this child together yes period raise together. are you only Ch uh, child or you got brothers and sisters? No, I have brothers and sisters. Okay. Yeah, I have a, a brother. We didn't grow up together. Mm -hmm. So I basically grew up like an only child. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But the thing is with the co-parenting, like I've been through that. And that's why I write in my book. I've yeah. been through the part where I'm like, no, I still want to be in a relationship with this guy. I still have feelings for him. Yeah. You know, to the point where it's like he moved on. I knew I found out that he moved on because he like just came to pick up our son like with the other with woman another <laughs> with another you know chick. what I mean and I was in my feelings yeah. you know what I mean and yeah. so I really had to check myself though because I'm like clearly he doesn't want to be with me yeah. so am I gonna just make his life miserable and in doing that make my life miserable yes. because I you can really hinder your blessings yes. really hinder what's for you yes trying to in the process of making somebody else miserable trying to be with somebody who for doesn't want you years <laughs> for years am i gonna do that and i always had this thing like i have too much pride i'm not about to be out here looking stupid over no man got it get yourself together girl clean, wash your face clean the tears <laughs> get out there you still bum you still can it don't mm -hmm. matter yeah you know like get out there and really just be about yourself and just be about your kid. Yeah. And I feel like when I really let that go, the fact that, okay, we're not going to get back together. Mm -hmm. So it don't matter if I'm trying to show up looking cute, mm -hmm. dropping the kid off. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to stay extra long all up in his <laughs> face. We're not going to get back together. You better tell them he secrets to them baby mamas. <laughs> somebody else. You know what I mean? Yes. Clearly, yes. if he wanted to be with me, we would be together. Got it. And so I just was like, we're not going to be together. And I'm just gonna just move on for it, and not even have any. As long as he's taking care of his kids, I don't I don't have any issue. And he any has is an amazing dad. Right. Yeah. So let me ask this because I I asked a, a question. It's a two part question. If you mm -hmm. were raised in a, a two parent household, what um what is like the main thing your parents taught you growing up? Like what what is what did they put in, into you? Um. That that sticks with you today. One of the main things is that. I win no matter what. Mm. Like my, I just had this conversation with my dad and, um, cause he's going through some things and he's like, you know what? He was like, I win. Like I, I cannot lose. Mm. Like my dad instilled in me that no matter what you come out on top, 
Mm. Even when you're going through negative things, you know, trying to get over obstacles, things happen to you, always have the mindset that no matter what, I win. Mm. And so, I mean, I grew up with that mindset. No matter what I go through, what obstacle I face, who leaves me, who stays with me, at the in the end, I win. It's it's set up. The fight yeah. isn't fair. Right. Like I know whose I am. Yeah. I know you know what I stand for, and I know that that I'm gonna come out on top no matter what. In the end, I win. In the end, I win always. I like it. I have. I am. I tell people I'm the queen of like reinventing myself. The queen of starting over. I have okay. been through a lot, and each time I come out <coughs> bigger, better bossed up each time because i have that mindset of i win i i could be bitter i could be a savage i could be that crazy baby mama yeah i could be the one that's negative all the time all the stuff i've the drama i've been through but i choose to just be the bigger person because i know that i'm going to be successful no matter what correct so that allows me to to have the positive attitude that i have and and to not be, you know, bitter, angry at the whole world, at every man. Is that something mom taught you that sticks with you? Um, my mom taught me this to be classy. My mom oh. taught me to always be a lady. Yeah. Like my mom taught me. Like it's so funny because she would not let me go outside looking crazy Any she wouldn't let way. me go outside wearing a <laughs> scarf. I couldn't go outside wearing house shoes. I mean, I know that sounds probably simple but it just meant a lot and as i look at myself now today i just carry myself in a way that i know i just i see my mom like all over me yeah because she just raised me in a way to always always be classy right no no matter what got it so now what are you instilling in your children with your generation so my children my oldest is hilarious i'm instilling in them that the same thing they can do they can do anything to okay. um believe in themselves to not just especially with um, my oldest ones to not say like i can't do something yeah. that's a big thing like i can't stand that word like i can't i can't i can't yes you can i'm teaching them that we don't have excuses yeah there's there's no excuses you can be whatever you want to be you can be successful as long as you have dedication as long as you're consistent as long as you work hard as long as you ha- stop living w- making up excuses for what you don't do right so that's what i'm teaching them right so <laughs> that's that's pretty dope that is that's pretty <laughs> dope i like it so i'm gonna go to a commercial break um i'm gonna you know pay some bills so they say yes. and then we're gonna come right back um before we do that give me the the most devastating thing that has happened to you in your life because you said you've been through a lot yes i mean the most devastating thing that happened to me, I mean, is being, honestly, being in a marriage, um, having two kids, and then finding out that that person was already married, and having to figure out my life <laughs> from there. Yeah. That was one of the most devastating things that happened to me, losing everything yeah. from that. Yeah. Yeah. And then climbing out of that thing. Yeah, and was then having to climb out of that. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll be right back. Okay. All right. Grits Cafe, specialized in serving southern style breakfast and lunch. From the crunchy catfish to the crispy chicken, you can't go wrong, especially when you get a grit bowl. Grits Cafe, 1911 Stella Lake Drive, West Las Vegas, Nevada, 89106. Open Monday through Sunday, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. for breakfast and lunch. Visit GritsCafe.com to get Trina's cooking tips and join the Grits Dining Club. That's G-R-I-T-Z-C-A-F-E.com. GritsCafe.com. 702-255-4748. Grits Cafe. You want a low-key barbershop offering haircuts for adults and children? Plus beard trims and a hot towel shave? We'll visit Unfatable Masters Barbershop. Located at 3231 North Decatur Boulevard, Suite 128. In Las Vegas, Nevada, 89130. Open Tuesdays through Sunday. Yes, Sunday. 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And on Sundays, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. 702-636-9499. Visit umbarbershop.com. That's umbarbershop.com. 
praised in the review journal as one out of the eight best places for barbecue in Las Vegas, TC's Barbecue Crib, 3655 South Durango Drive, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89142. Open seven days a week, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Order online at tcsbarbecuecrib.com. That's T-C-S-B-B-Q-C-R-I-B.com or call 702-451-RIBS. That's 702-451-7427. TC's Barbecue Crib. Good Fruits Hat Company. Unique Christian faith-based hats and clothing for men, women, and children. Good Fruits Hat Company. You can wear your faith and spark kingdom conversations. Shop now. GoodFruitsHatCo.com. G-U-D-F-R-U-T-Z-H-A-T-C-O.com. GoodFruitsHatCo.com. Matthew 7, 16 through 17. By their fruit, you will recognize them. Shop now. GoodFruitsHatCo.com. Access College and Career Fair Spring into Vegas 2019. Tuesday, no, April 2nd, 2019. Oh, Session 1, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. at Clark High School in the Gymnasium. 4921 Penwood Avenue, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89102. The second session will be held from 5.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Western High School in the Gymnasium. 4601 West Bonanza Road, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89107. What to expect? College representatives, career readiness opportunities, summer job recruiters, financial aid and scholarship info, workforce development, and free food and music at session two and much more. Register now at accesscollege2.com. Yo, That's accesscollege, the number Jones. two. Dot com. Yes, it's a beautiful Thursday morning. You already know my show starts at 11 a.m., so I want y'all to be here and be ready to go. And make sure that you also follow me on Facebook, okay? And um, I want you to go hit the hot 7025 like page. Hit that like button and make sure you check me out over there. All right. So uh, thank all y'all for listening. Thank y'all for tuning in. Right now I have the coach, Mommy Mogul, in the building, Miss Ebony Nicole. And um, so we talked about the most devastating thing that happened, Mm -hmm. right? So what's the most triumphant thing that happened in your life? The most triumphant thing is really just coming up out of that. Okay. Really, I went through – a deep depression, I literally had a nervous breakdown. Okay. I was just at the point where I was like, I just don't even know if I just want to do life anymore, okay. honestly. I okay. had a moment, literally, I was like in my closet, like crying my eyes out, that ugly cry, yeah, nose running, like, yeah. what am I going to do? Like, you know, I had built, like, This life and people saw, and I think it was devastating too. a lot. People don't understand when you really put things out there, like on social media, you know what I mean? And people looking like, oh, this is the it couple. And that's why I'm like, you know what? (laughs) Don't get caught up in the hype Mm -hmm. of people that are constantly posting their relationship on, you know, Facebook. Just it's all good all the time, all the time, all the time. Because. I even tell people now, people like, oh, my God, you and your husband have a great relationship. Look, I keep it real with you. Like, he gets on my nerves. Like, yeah. I love him. He loves me. This this ain't easy. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I'm honest with people. And so it was just, it was a whole embarrassment thing. You know what I mean? Just really, and not even that, I lost everything. Like, literally lost everything being in a relationship with this man. My yep. house. I had bought my first house when I was 25. Like, I put, I put 30,000 out on a house <sighs> my car co- I literally lost everything I yeah. had to short sell my house and get three thousand dollars back from it like my car I lost everything I had to start over from having nothing nothing and so that's the most triumphant to come up yeah, out of that that's thing because in the end you win yes yeah and I win and even in that, that my dad's like you know what like you're gonna be okay like yeah you walk away from this, you're going to be okay. Yeah. And here, I'm all I'm right. You know, I'm doing pretty good for myself. I like it. Because, I, <laughs> I mean, obviously your father's older than us. So yes. that means he's been through life a little longer than us. Yes. Which means that he knows there's more decades to come. Mm-hmm. There's more years to come. Yes. And you're going to get through this. Yes. And the type of DNA you have, mm-hmm. you're going to win. Yes. So I like the way your father thinks. That's yes. amazing. And I think that's important for us to instill in our kids. Mm-hmm. It's important for us to support our kids. And even when they hit hard times, and even if it is something of their, on their, their fault, 
for us to be like, you know what? You made this mistake, but you're going to learn from it. I'm here to support you. I got your back. I'm not going to put you down, make you feel any less than what you're already feeling. Yeah. But I'm going to ride with you no matter what. Learn your lesson. Don't let it happen again. Mm -hmm. But mama, daddy, we got your back. I think that's so important for us to to do that for our kids. You have a mother out there of three. Mm -hmm. She's listening. Mm -hmm. She's going through this horrific divorce. She feel like she just lost it all. What can you tell her? To pick your head up and and walk forward. To don't give in to you know how you're feeling. Don't look at your situation right now. Really, really focus on where you want to go. Because if I would have just looked at my situation how it was, I would have been out for the count. Like I didn't have anything. Literally, I was homeless. I had to go and stay with people with my three kids. Yeah. I didn't have anything. But I knew where I wanted to go. I had a vision for my life. You need to have a vision for your life's goals. And then you need to start living as if you are already there. Don't live in your present situation because it will have you depressed, broke down, disgusted. You need to envision like this is the woman I want to be. Envision the woman that you want to be and then start walking in that. Yeah. And doing things that that woman would do envision yourself what does she look like what does she dress like how does she talk what places does she shop at what places does she eat at and just start walking in that that's good yeah that's good all right so let's get back to your business i think i put you in a hot seat enough you feel me um did you feel the burn did you yes. feel the burn all right, I think I'm, I started sweating. <laughs> all right so um how can people sign up, women, excuse me, because it's not about the men today. How can women sign up to this uh, yes. website? Because we, we, I mean, cause at the end of the day, I want y'all to be strong. You feel me? And and I, I support what women do. I, I love women. You know what I mean? So go ahead and tell me, um, tell us how they can sign up to Mommy Mobile. So you can sign up for Mommy Mobile University. The link is bit, B-I-T dot L-Y backslash, and it's Mommy Mogul University. Okay. Is how you can sign up. You can also get the information from my website at um, coachmommymogul.com. That's coachmommy, M O M M Y M O G U L.com. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Coach Mommy Mogul, all over the place. Yes. You'll be able to find me. Absolutely. Because I went to Google me. I went to Twitter <laughs> and I was like, Coach Mommy Mogul. Yeah. And it was there. And it's, yeah, me? and it's so funny because. I don't even I'm not on Instagram that much or Twitter that much like mm -hmm. Facebook is my thing that I'm working right now but mm -hmm. I do teach women how to grow their Instagram and all of that mm -hmm. but um, and the one tip that I do want to give in business is if you have a brand make sure you sew up every social media with that brand don't be on Facebook <laughs> as <laughs> Coach Mommy Mogul and then you on Instagram as Mogul of, Mogul of Moms and then you yeah. on Twitter as mm -hmm. like look at me here I am like Right. Even if you're not using it, you just go and just get the name. Go buy the um, the domain name of the website yeah. so that nobody else can sew it up. use it. Because, yeah. I mean, I have people who have tried to use Mommy Mogul, and then they're, they're like, well, I'm Mommy Mogul. I'm like, okay, I'm Coach Mommy Mogul. I'm not changing my name. And that's another thing. If someone's out there with the same thing that you're doing, just do you loud until they have to buy out because – Everybody knows who you are. Yeah. So. I had to do the same thing with Bug God. Yes. It's Bug God situations, but everybody say Bug God. Mm -hmm. And that's fine, but it's yeah. not the same brand in Bug God situations as my brand. Right. And I got you. Now, uh, how can you teach somebody how to grow something you ain't on? How do you do that? Well, Instagram, that's the thing. I have coaches, other coaches in Mommy Mogul University oh. who – Okay. Have yeah. So it's not. So Mommy Mogul University. I have coaches. You can either sign up for Mommy Mogul University as a member. You need to learn, or you can come on as an executive, and you could teach. So I have someone who is like a guru in Instagram, in, okay. growing Instagram followers. She, she. I have two people actually. I have um, one girl who she basically she grew her own Instagram from like three thousand to like fifteen thousand dollars. 15,000 followers in like just a, a month or so a matter of time. and then I have um, people who help you with social media management 
yeah. hosting, who who will help you with content. Okay. To actually grow, not just have a whole bunch of followers and you just got people following you, but you ain't getting paid. Yeah. No, we believe in growing your brand in a way that you attract your avatar, which is your perfect client, yeah. and you actually start making money from your Instagram. Right. That's what we Is there do. any daddy moguls out there? Like, I need, um, There I, probably is, oh, but yeah. that's not my focus. No. It's so funny. I have people tell me every day, well, because I can't join Mommy Mogul because I'm not a mom. And I'm like, sorry. This is so my niche. you won't accept men in your Mommy Mogul just because we... Not right now. <laughs> I do have men that I coach. That I do have t- two men clients that I coach one-on-one and just yeah. coach Mommy Mogul. Yeah. But Mommy Mogul University, no, yeah, it's yeah, no. for okay. mom, you know? So you will consult men regardless. Like, it's, yeah, even really, though it's it not depends. your focus. Like, though. you got to really be doing something, though. Like, I just... You have to really be doing something really... It needs to be a benefit on my end too. Mm-hmm. Like I'm learning something, you know, for me to be able to mm-hmm. to coach like a man because that's not just what I do. It, it's plenty of um, coaches um, out here um, that um. take your money. <laughs> plenty. No, nah, I like I, the way you think though. Like, I have I feel a specific it. niche. This is the God idea that that I've gotten being in prayer, fasting. This is so I'm gonna stick to what I know and yeah. stick to what God gave me and yeah. Yeah, go so give us uh, more of the, the benefits of being uh, signed up to Coach Mommy Mogul. So basically, like I said, you have we have different coaches in different fields of business mm-hmm. that can help you from business startup. And when I say startup, it's just everything from getting your business license, um, teaching you how to sell, teaching you how to close a deal. Um, yeah. I have, and my business executives, they all have business themselves. So my business startup coach, she has a bridal boutique in California. Um, she has had two business successful businesses. She's had nonprofits and she teaches you everything from that. I have branding and marketing, which I handle and I teach you everything from Branding yourself on social media, showing you how to market. We have a coach that teaches you about monetization, how to make money, how to make, you know, money today in your business. So we, it's everything. You get videos to show you how to do, um, how to do certain things, how to set up an email list, how to create something as simple as a PayPal button to put on your website, how to do websites. If you want to learn how to do websites, we teach you how to do that. Um, or if you don't want to do that, we do have people on staff where you can actually pay for the services and you get a discounted rate. Okay. So I have local designers, website designers, um, people who do flyers, all contracted through Mommy Mogul University. And if you're a member, then you get discounted services yeah. from them. Yeah. I have some that give anywhere from 30 to 60 percent off yeah. on their services right. for um, people who are my members. You also get discounted Um, prices on any events that we have so i just had like a workshop where i was teaching content and how to brand on social media Mm -hmm. and so i would charge 25 dollars for that for a regular attendee but it would be just five dollars for mommy mobile university members okay and so you get discounts on the events workshops you also get one-on-one coaching which is very important so we set up a plan of action for whatever it is you want to do in your business and i hope I hold you accountable. The other coaches hold you accountable so we can go from A to Z and whatever it is you're trying to do in your business, we will help you hold you accountable. I have a hundred percent success rate, so I don't play. So if you sign up for Mommy Mogul University and you do want the one-on-one coaching, you will be successful because you're out here. Yes. A hundred percent success rate. I have people who have been able to quit their jobs and do their business full time. Yeah. But you have to, I don't, I'm not out here, I'm not out here saying I'm going to make you rich, I'm going to make yeah. you successful. You have to put in the work. I will give you the blueprint, the blueprint, give you the formula, help you, coach you every step of the way, but you have to put in the work. Yeah. And if you're not doing it correctly, I learned this from my mentor, Aisha, if you're not doing it correctly, I will let you go as a coach. You Maybe somebody else that's a coach uh, on the team will pick you up because you're out here in my name. You're not going to be out here saying, oh, Coach Mommy Mogul is co- coaching me. I'm part of Mommy Mogul University, <laughs> and you looking a hot mess. Because then you're making me look like a hot mess. So 
honestly, if you're ready to take your business to the next level, ready to really start being successful for real, for real, and not just look like you're doing something, then I would say Mommy Mogul University is for you. If you need help, if you're already in business and you're like, I'm stuck, I started this business, I thought it was going to be booming, ain't nothing popping off, I need to figure it out, we can help you with that as well. But you have, you're going to have to put in the work, tell you what to do, you're going to have to follow, follow through and do it. When is it that you recommend somebody to be an entrepreneur? Like, what does it look like when you're like, you know what? You should be an entrepreneur. Like, you really should do it. Or I mean, what does it look like in your conversation? That's an interesting question. I mean, when you're miserable, <laughs> what you're doing. <laughs> I mean, when you're like, okay, I was literally at the job that I got fired from. I was there for 11 years. Yeah. And it got to the point where I was, like, miserable. I was literally at work, like, working on stuff for my own business got it i was giving them like 50 percent, 30 percent of my time yeah you know what i mean yeah. like and you shouldn't be doing that that's right. like ripping the company off yeah. you working on your own business on mm -hmm. company time if you're working on your own business on company time it's time for you to become an entrepreneur Say that. it's time for you to step out on faith make the moves that you need to make put yourself in a position to start your own business and become an entrepreneur okay <clears throat> all right so i'm um looking at this whole thing and it's an amazing company Thank i like you. it i like it it's 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 really like um a pool of just you know people that's helping you mm -hmm. know it reminds me of a yes. few different things but i, I really like it yes and, and I'm proud of what you're doing. Yes, thank you. Absolutely. Thank absolutely. you. Absolutely. So talk to me about being a black woman in this world. Because you're a black entrepreneur. Yes. You're, you're a woman. Yes. And that's a double minority, what they say? Yes. What does that look like for you? Like, are you standing up with your fist in the air? Or, like, how you do, how you living? I mean, you know, I know that I am a black woman. But I don't base off what I do or what I can do mm -hmm. off of being a black woman okay like someone was just telling me this other day they were like well what do you do what are you doing for the black community blah, blah, blah. and i'm like i'm creating wealth in the black community mm -hmm. through mommy mogul university the majority of the women i it's p women in there all different you know races but the majority of them are black african-american you know they're mm -hmm. black women in business and I'm helping them. And their mothers. And their mothers. I'm helping them establish their business, create wealth that they can pass on to their kids. Yeah. I never want to hinder myself and say, oh, my God, it's so hard. No one's going to take me serious. Business is going to be so hard because I am black. Like, I know that I'm black. I'm black. I wake up every morning. I, nothing's changed. Yeah. But I know that I'm a boss. I know that I'm educated. I know that. I have the tools within myself to be successful no matter what. Yeah. I don't let that stop me. I've sat in rooms where I was the only, you know, black woman, the only black person, the only woman, yeah. <laughs> you know, but I still carry myself in a way. It's like, no, it doesn't matter. I know that I deserve a seat at this table Yeah. no matter what. Mm -hmm. I know what I have to offer, and I'm not going to let the fact that I am a black woman stop me or yeah. hinder me in any way i have a daughter like i have to be the example for my kids yeah and i don't want them to grow up yes be aware of society and the world that we live in and how you know we're stereotyped you know we may not be treated right because of the color of our skin or who we are but don't let that hinder you or stop you from doing anything anything right so are these affordable prices to be with mommy yes. mogul yes University. it's pretty yes it's affordable. you don't have to tell me the prices but and do you have like quarterly i have a monthly? Si there's a sign up fee that will get you started with that sign up fee it also comes with services like so if you need a website um if you need a landing page if you need flyers that will go towards your services but then there's a monthly fee and the monthly fee is 15 dollars a month okay and you still get the coaching you still get the you know the videos everything that you need I love in your it. business i love it so yeah okay um <laughs> now with this coach mommy mogul tell us about your book now because i need to know where to find the book you know yes. it's on it's it's everywhere or 
Yeah, it's. I mean, it's on Amazon. It's you know on my website. Don't be a baby mama. Um, I How many am, pages in the book? The book is really short. I think it's just like it's under a hundred pages. Okay. Yeah. And this devastating moment made you write this book, or no? Well, I was out of already it, in so. the process of writing the book. Okay. When I was going through this, like I already had a wrote the book, but I hadn't put it out yet until after I got out of that. Okay relationship so what made me write the book is really just the co-parenting relationship that i have with my oldest child's got it. father got it is what made me write the book okay and okay. then just having friends and just seeing people who were just going through craziness dealing with you know their child's father or mother and so i was like i'm just gonna write the book and just talk about my experiences right mm-hmm. right and you said it's still selling today yeah it's still selling today i just had a speaking engagement like a couple weeks ago that i got that they wanted me to talk about the book and the book is old so well let's do to some people yeah it's it's still being sold i mean i've been in churches teaching their single you know mother's group about yeah. co-parenting i've done workshops on it so when i turn the book over and i read the back what am i gonna find like what, what's gonna interest me in reading it as a man um as a man it teaches you you can get inside of the mind of the mom, the okay. single mom, and to see like why she's thinking the way she's thinking, what what's going through her head, and how you can help yeah. your situation. Okay, <laughs> how you can help if you have you know going through some craziness with a baby mama. How you can to how you can diffuse you know the right. situation. <laughs> Ultimately, I really would like to offer. I really I'm working on doing like some pamphlets and stuff that I want to have like at the child support office mm-hmm. um, and the family court that, you know, people can pick up and get some, you know, resources, and some tools to help them to have a more healthier co-parenting relationship. OK, that's my ultimate goal is to take it to another like level right. because I feel like it's just needed. OK, it's needed. We need to, to show these kids that, you know, they can have healthy relationships and to show them, you know, you don't have to, to, you know, be bitter. Yeah. You don't have to live a broken life because, you know, something didn't work out. Now you have to have this, you have this kid with somebody that you aren't together. You may not like them, but you still need to work with that person. Yeah. It's all about the kid. If I may be honest, my oldest child's mother told me we will never work together. Yeah. She said, that's just ain't how it's going to go. And that, I just sent me to a whole nother dimension, yeah. you know, because I've been like wanting to do this. And then you just told me, no, that'll never happen. We'll never do it like that. It's just like, it's not for you or me. <clears throat> it's for our child. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, and, you know, I, I deal with the baby mama drama. I deal with all of that, being married and having other kids and all this other crazy stuff. Mm-hmm. I just talked to one of my friends yesterday, which is her god brother. And she telling him all this stuff, you know what I mean? And, you know, she never called me a deadbeat or nothing like that. But the fact yeah. of the matter is that this is what you tell people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, you know what yeah. I mean? So I'm, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I am I'm, want to read the book. I want to get into the mind. But I just think it's a lost call. This is 15 years in the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but um, at I mean, the end of the day, the I'm still going to win. That, I mean, that is the type of woman that I really want to reach. Yeah. Because... Women don't understand, like, you just holding on to something, just saying, oh, I'm just not going to work with you. You're angry. Mm. You're still hurt. Mm. You're bitter. And guess what that's going to do? That's going to block your blessings. Mm. You may have something, a dream or something that you want to do. You you will never accomplish it trying to be spiteful mm-hmm. and, and hateful towards anybody. You're not going to be the true successful person that you can be and really live out the life that you want holding on to old baggage, holding on to hurt, holding on to anything that's negative. Mm -hmm. You're not going to fully be the the person that you need to be. That's for a man because there's men out there who be acting a fool too. That's for men and women, for you to just be spiteful for no reason. Let's stop drinking the poison and expecting the other person to die. Listen, yes. you tuned in to Hot Seat with Icy Jones. I had Miss Ebony Nicole in here, Coach Mommy Mogul. Make sure you check her out on all social media platforms. Go to Mommy Mogul uh, University. Yes. Dot com. All right. God bless y'all. Love y'all. We out. Peace.